A real quick vid of the uh, my uh, back to Eden garden here as far as the um, potatoes go. Let me get out of my pickup here. But uh, the first year kind of cheated. What I did was I put planted tomatoes and then I, uh, or tomatoes, potatoes. And I uh, uh, covered up the uh, the dirt. I did plant them very deep, probably a couple of inches, uh, just enough to get the potato underneath the seed potato underneath the uh, underneath the uh, ground. And then I just covered it up about six to eight inches of uh, wood chips that our local city was getting rid of. So anyway. Uh, Really not a fair test this year, although I love the fact that I really haven't had to weed them. One on the left here are Norland. These are um, Pontiacs in the middle. Well, some Norland's there because, well actually, I think they're pretty much mostly mostly Pontiacs. Actually, these with the, uh, over here that are uh, that have the blossoms are are some leftover Pontiacs I just couldn't get in this row here. Over here is some uh, Yukon Gold, and I'm kind of interested to see what how those turn out. I've never planted them before, so I've eaten them before, but never planted them. Mosquitoes are getting crazy, so uh, just a kind of a quick deal here. Watermelons, first one here. Cucumbers. Uh, down there is muskmelon, very poor patch uh, stand of onions here, except for the bunching ones here. Pretty nice. I need to probably harvest those and use them in a salad or something somewhere. Some dent corn, not sweet corn. Got some blue dent, green dent, and then I have some Fortex pole beans. Oh yeah, my straw bale gardens. Uh, a little tomato on that big beef variety right here. Not doing too good. I really honestly think the straw bales should be conditioned for a year then. These two, I'm not, that's what I'm doing with these two, one on each of end. And then also uh, uh, got my beets. Didn't thin them on this end, yeah. Uh, and then I have my Fortex pole beans here, which are trying to find the uh, uh, fence here, the cattle fence or the hog fence I put up for them. Uh, bulb, white onions, I planted by bulb, uh, anyway, thinking about cutting those off at about 8 inches, they, somebody was saying that if you cut your onions off at about 8 inches tall, that will help, uh, give you a bigger bulb, or a bigger onion, I don't know, anybody have an idea on that, over here in my, uh, straw bales, there's, a. Uh, uh, some sweet potatoes, uh, some Beauregard, Georgia Jets, and some Vardaman. As far as I can tell, the Vardaman are doing a lot better, but uh, only time can tell. Hey, it's uh, only about 60 degrees the last couple of days, Minnesota, you know. But, I mean, this is southwestern Minnesota, and then July what is it? Uh, gee whiz, I think it's the 15th. Come on, usually we're just cooking by now see greenhouse uh, curtains are down and uh, I tell you what it's really not that warm in there either so well thanks for watching this video just kind of keep you posted on the uh, uh, different ways of uh, how I garden I guess and uh, failures successes um, what can I say Gonna give these straw bales another year, see what happens. Yeah, yeah, you can use them uh, next year after you harvest. I don't think I'm gonna get much for onions on this, but I'm just gonna let it go, see what happens. Other than that, I'm pretty pleased with what's going on, except for these onions are crap, but I think they're, actually I can remedy that by <laughs> watering them. Uh, so that's a simple enough deal, but uh, I was kind of trying to get by without watering in the Eden Garden, but as you see, I don't have that cover there in the middle. Uh, they were kind of small. I didn't really want to cover it, and I just haven't gotten back to covering it yet.
Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.